So you are you the only skeptic in uh, Burma these days? Because a lot of people want to believe that this change is real. Yes. Why are you the last uh, non-believer? I have suffered a lot. I know. In this 50 years. Yes. I witnessed this kind of cheats and lies mm -hmm. for 50 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're not afraid of being called a stubborn old man? True. <laughs> I spent 13 years in the prison. Yeah. For what at that time? For nothing. No charge, no trial. No charge, no trial. Just detention. What was the reason that the government at that time put you in jail? Yes, I was working for the local paper. Mm -hmm. uh, the People Daily. Language. In 1967, my paper was closed out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, together with five editorial staff, were arrested mm -hmm. and sent to Coco Island, Coco Island for three years. How far is this, Coco Island? Where was it? Where is this? In the Indian Ocean. Wow. Coco Island prison camp. How far from uh, land? About 450 miles from Rangoon. 450 50 miles. 50 miles. It's an island. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. And you were there for? Three years. Mm -hmm. And ten years in insane. Insane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What were you doing in jail? I was kept in solitary confinement most of the time. Mm -hmm. Only nothing to read. Nothing to read. You could not read. You yes, could not watch no TV. No one to talk to. No one to talk to. You were isolated? Yes, I do read it. Every, all the five people were separately... Yeah, separately in the cell. In the cell, uh -huh. Were you tortured? <coughs> were you no. tortured? No. no. Did they treat you okay? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you were released in 1980. 80. And With since, the mm -hmm. general amnesty order. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you've been writing. Still critical. No, I was banned for 20 years. From writing. Yeah, so I, at that time, for 20 years, I have run a language school here. Yes. You mean after 1980, when yes. you were released, yes. you couldn't write, you couldn't express opinion? Yes. So my, you pay, my pay was banned for many years after that. Yes. Only uh, in the late 1980s. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I was allowed to write. Mm -hmm. Since uh, I write on general education, mm -hmm. Youth affairs, Youth affairs, international affairs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now politics. Ha. Since when have you started writing polit about politics again? Since yes. when? Since when? About two or three years back. So, so this period. Yes, this period. Why did you return to politics? Yes. Why did you return to writing about politics? Why? Why? Because people need to write to tell on behalf of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day I was, I have used phone calls from mm -hmm. countryside and visitors coming to visit me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one after the another mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to air their grievances. Yes. But there's no one to talk to, speak out for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I, <coughs> I write about politics. Mm -hmm. So you write how many articles a week now? <coughs> Two articles every day. <laughs> Two articles every day? Yeah, every day. For various publications? About, about a dozen weekly public journals mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a dozen monthly magazines. Mm -hmm. Mainly about politics? Yes, mainly about politics. Mm -hmm. So you are the only voice of dissent at the moment? Yes, I, was, I am the only one who publicly, you see, announced I didn't support the constitution, mm -hmm. I didn't support the election, mm -hmm. and I didn't expect support the Uteisen's government. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one who <coughs> speaks publicly. Up to now? Up to now. I'm the only one who writes this openly. Uh, and you have not uh, been in trouble? No trouble. No police call? I don't call. know why, because the censor passed those writings. <laughs> All your articles have to be censored before publication. Yes, uh -huh. yes. But because you are you, you are well known, and people respect you. <coughs> so if they do anything to you, 
they will be in trouble. So I think they, they spare you just to show the world that you see there is freedom of expression. So in a way, they might be using you for their purpose. Yes, yes. <laughs> Is and it possible? Written, they are using me <laughs> to, 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 to let the world know that they are opening. Yes. yes. And they have liberalized the censorship laws. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. But you're willing to be used by them? Yes. 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 As long as I can write what I want to write, uh -huh. it's okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the, the publications that publish articles, they would, we would be afraid of running them, no? None of the publications has refused to run your article? No. Ah, no. Because people want to read even, your article. Even that you see publications which was founded by the general sons. Yeah, uh -huh. no, King and us requested me to <coughs> write regularly in the channels. <laughs> you see? Yeah. You see, so it's interesting that even the power that be want you to criticize them in their publications. Mm -hmm. what, and also, what, what? Aung San Suu Kyi requested me to write uh -huh. regularly in her party's I publication. See, I see. And you do? And you write for them? Yes, I write for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I write every week in mm -hmm. our journal. So your three main conditions, do you think they will be fulfilled? Yes. Yes. Before you die? Yes. Why do you think they will? I don't think so. You don't think they will do I it? don't think I can see peace before I die. But that is your main life's mission. You want to see your country yes, I want on to the see right my track my before mm -hmm. develop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people live, you see, without any fear. Mm -hmm.